So I'm 101 kilos and and the reason why the car is spinning is because it's not getting enough grip to hold the ground. So I'm thinking if Okay, now you and I have can see that that idea doesn't work and probably it could work if somebody is actually giving it some gas. Thank you Lord for the sun. <laughs> but um, yeah, so stay tuned for more uh, while we wait for Jack. This was just, here comes my helper. One of the few millionaires we have around. <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. Hey, you're coming. He's coming to help. Every time they stick my ears, it feels beautiful people today i've got myself into trouble i was driving boy into this beautiful forest <laughs> and um <laughs> guess what we are stuck we are stuck and we can't move the car anymore so look at that i thought i'm gonna go through but then little did i know that i'm gonna get stuck so i'll find a way to come out of this ditch otherwise i'm i'm done so this is some of the things that we go through when you're trying to explore nature i was just coming here to try and explore nature maybe see the kangaroos and stuff like that but then i got to this point and i got stuck so i have to make sure that i <laughs> i'm in the middle of nowhere guys in the middle of nowhere and this guy is over here stuck i'm gonna try and get him out i hope i hope we do that Let, let's let's hope for the best I need to go down there and look for some rocks and uh, keep them under there and see if you can move it. Otherwise, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> maybe I'll come out of this place, or maybe I will not come out of this place. So I don't know. So my only hope is to wish for the best. I can only. I can already smell something. I don't know. I might need to get a lot of rocks and uh, put them underneath the car. Maybe I should switch it off. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. So, sometimes I come here just to explore in this middle of nowhere. <laughs> and um, today, I don't know what some, something told me to go that way and I was like yeah let me try and go that way but um, my car is a it's a four-wheel drive but then um, I'm not sure if I can <laughs> I don't have uh, the best mechanism to uh, to pull uh, to pull it from with the you know sometimes you can mount something on the on the um, on the tree at the phone at the, at the front and then pull it <laughs> but I don't have any of those so I'll uh, I'll see how you go. Otherwise, I can try to push it, push it. I can try, if this doesn't work, I'll try to push it backward, but that's gonna be very hard because it's a... Uh, it's gonna be very hard. Let's try to push it. Let's try to push it and see how we go. So I'll, I'll, put on, I'll put it on neutral. I try to push it back and see if we can go if we can go backwards, even if it's a little bit. Otherwise, this is a bad day. <laughs> That's not even moving an inch. It's not even moving an inch. Let me try it and see. I've just put there like two stones, so I'll see if I I'll see if I can move. Otherwise, it's not the it's not the best day for me. So the other wheel is uh, turning. 
one of the wheel is turning but one is not oh what a day will a good samaritan come and help me i'm not sure if this is a good idea but uh No, I don't think that's a good idea. I might need to get more stones. That's, I don't think that's gonna work. What a day, what a day, what a day. Oof, this is, this is the most, the most useful day for me to keep myself going. I woke up this morning and I went and, did, and, I went and did a workout. I tell you what, I am really, really tired. And then come to this, excuse me, the sun might be blocking. And then come back to this, this is a really pain. This is a real, real pain. But uh, I'll see how I go. Hopefully we're gonna come out of this. Let's give it a try. like this is it guys I can't go forward I can't go backward I can't push it I don't know I can't do anything maybe the best thing is to look for more stones and put them down there but then it's just it's just a pain unless a good Samaritan comes or drives by and gives me a hand to push it or to pull it either way otherwise I can't do much in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere look at me <laughs> alone in the forest in Australia oh I should shoot this car off otherwise it's gonna just overheat I don't know I have no idea what to do to be honest I'm trying to think of any mechanism I can't think of any it's unpushable the car is really heavy I can't push it doesn't even shake it's not even shaking not even an inch somebody help me <laughs> oh what a day what a day what a day what a day Stuck, stuck, stuck. I can hear cars passing by, 
but I can't tell where they're going. Maybe I should look for more stones in the meantime. Otherwise, what will you do if this happens to you? You know, you just thought you're gonna go in the nature where it's nice and quiet and you can have a, a peace of mind with the fresh air. The weather's actually really nice, you know, like it's, yeah, it's, the weather's really cool. But uh, maybe it's not cool for me today. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And the funny thing is that one wheel, which is on the left side, it's turning, but the other one is not. So that's a bit of a pain too, like, you're supposed to use both wheels turning, but not only one. Pain. Maybe. And as you can see, these bricks or stones, they're pretty <laughs> smooth as well. So I don't know if I'm, what I'm doing is gonna help me really. We can only hope for the best while we're stuck here. Oh, I wish I just drove so fast or so quick that I didn't have to stop there. But I'm gonna give it another try and see. It's not my lucky day today, so the thing is, if I keep pushing it too much, what's gonna happen is, of course, I'll be wasting my petrol, and another thing, I'll be, my camera keeps falling off. So what I was saying, if I keep pushing it to start, I will um, either spoil the car by overheating it, or it's just gonna be of a waste of petrol and I don't want to do that and uh, another thing is I'll overheat the car so those are some of the things that I'm trying to avoid so the best thing for me to do is to maybe sit back relax in something <laughs> and hope that God comes or somebody comes and uh, helps me out otherwise I can't I can't take it from here or otherwise the other thing is to try to empty this water here, over here which is gonna be a lot of work and um, I don't think I have enough stuff Yeah, I don't think I have um, anything to even scoop the water from <laughs> from down here. So this is this is gonna be a pain. Um, yeah, so maybe I can just you know chill, relax, have something to eat, and then I hope for the best. But this is really, really, really pain. And this place is not far from my home, so I can leave the car here and go home. But um, and that will take me maybe half an hour to walk home or 45 minutes but uh, this is really really sad so as you can see this place there's nothing here this is you know it's just in the middle of nowhere just a forest <laughs> forest forest and forest maybe kangaroos can come and say hi to me and uh, we can have a dinner together but in the meantime the only thing i can have maybe now it's uh i can eat something and then hope for the best that's what we'll do Now that we are stuck in the middle of the forest, maybe I can give you some stories about how when cars used to get stuck back home, where I come from. Uh, I remember those days, we, this, the roads were like worse than this. So cars would come and get stuck and we'll push them and they'll, the driver will pay us, will give us something small just to appreciate the work that we've done. But that was like 10 years ago, even more than that. The roads were really bad, especially when you go to the village, the hometowns, the homes were, the, the roads were really, really bad. I should count myself lucky because today, if it was, if this was summer, I'd really be in 
trouble because there's a lot of bushfires in Australia. And when there's bushfires in Australia, this is the last place you want to find yourself. Or this is the last situation you want to find yourself. For example, like in the middle of nowhere, like here, it's the last place. And take this for, take, take this for me. It's the last place you want to find yourself because the gum trees, which are surrounding me now over here, they're really, um, they really catch fire very easy. And in Australia, they sort of ban anything to do with fires. You can't do any, you know, like you can get fines for, for starting fires. For example, if I was here and I'm trying to do a barbecue and I get caught, I'll pay a lot, I'll, I'll pay fine for that. So I'm just glad that it's sort of spring, spring is starting. So, <laughs> yeah. and for some reason, I thought I'll just come here for like half an hour. Sometimes I come here just for half an hour to meditate and have my food and whatever. And I said, look, if I, I, go, I decided to carry my camera today in, in case I find any kangaroos, which is very hard to find this time of the day because they like cold. And I said, I'll come and if I sit here and uh, if I find any kangaroos, I'll take photos. And then I ended up here. Good thing I packed my lunch and um, that means I'll not be empty in stomach before I start emptying this water over here, which is a lot. I'll show you the water. A lot. All that. If I can empty that and then sort of wait for it to dry, okay? Which I think it will take, I don't know how long. Um, it's gonna be a really big of hard work. But before I do that, I've got a friend of mine who is my neighbor. I think I'll give him a call and see if he can give me a hand. Otherwise, this is where you say you are. Let me not say that word because my channel is so friendly. Um, let, me keep, let me keep eating this delicious meal that I had yesterday, this morning. And I decided to come here and just relax, enjoy this beautiful sunshine after this cold. But then I didn't know nature has had these plants. And this is the plan. Maybe it's also a good thing to just sit back here, relax, enjoy the sunshine, take a few photos. Who knows? So we are still here this time of the day at least i've eaten something there's something in my stomach i haven't finished it because i don't know how long i'm gonna be here for so um let me put this camera over here uh it's a it's a really really beautiful day today and uh, we are still stuck here so what i'll do is i'll uh, make a phone call to a friend of mine and see if he can come and give me a hand um because otherwise i'm gonna spend here the, the whole day uh as you can see i actually was coming through over here you see i was actually coming through here i didn't want to go in there and then the thing just slided and fell in there you know and i've, I've been here a few times I've, been, I've passed here a few times with no issues but today i think i must have gone a little bit slow um and then find myself into this so i can either decide to either empty this water or maybe then see how i go especially this side so i think that's what i'll do for now but before maybe before i do that i'll call this guy and see how he, how he, if you can come and give me a, a pool you know let's find out he's my neighbor hopefully he picks up the phone <laughs> oh dear bad times if he doesn't pick up the phone then i have to um find a solution either emptying this water which i think is going to take me forever with my plastic bag michael Hi. how are you going man all right mate how you going good thanks sorry to bother you are you home <laughs> yeah mate yeah yeah um <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle of the um, the forest next to La Trobe. Oh, yeah, okay. What do you want? <laughs> Are you able to pull me out? Um, where, where, oh, yeah, oh, no, because my four-wheel drive's not going there. Oh, your four-wheel drive is not going? Oh, okay, that's no, fine. No, yeah. Um, yeah, I came, uh, I, came no. here, I came here to see the nature and the kangaroos, but then when I got here, I went through um, a place and I got stuck with my youth. Oh, so, yeah. anyway, that's fine. Okay, um, have you got someone else you can ring? Oh, yeah, I'll find other I'll find someone else if I can. Yeah, oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, nah. All good. Thank you. Okay, mate. No worries. Bye. Bye. So that's bad news for me. This four-wheel drive is not working. Um, yeah, this is it. I better try this and uh, maybe this is going to take me the whole day. I don't know. I don't know. So, this is the idea I have now. Um, I'll try to empty this water with my plastic bag. I don't know how long it's going to take. So I'm going to use these plastic bags <laughs> to empty this water over here and dump in somewhere and see how I go. This is gonna take me forever.
I know you're wondering, why can't you call someone to come, or a company to come and pull you out from there? Or a towing truck to come and pull me out from here? I tell you what, if I do that, those guys are gonna charge me around $500 because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Honestly, for me, it's not worth it. Um, I think this is a challenge for me and for you out there <laughs> that uh, you better watch where you're driving or if you're into nature, you might get stuck into nature. So I'll try my best until I come up with the last option, which is to leave this car over here, go home, pick up my other car, which I think I'll struggle a bit to come over here and see if I can pull this car out. Otherwise, for now, I'll keep pushing. I'll empty this water so that at least if I can see where the tile is stuck there, I can put some bricks and stuff like that and see if it can move because only one side is moving and the water is actually going down. So, wish me luck. And by the way, Coles, if you're watching, thank you so much for your plastic bags. They come handy. Oh wait, did someone say plastic bags are not good for the environment? Oh yeah, that's right. This morning, I woke up and I did one and a half hours of workout because it's my last day and then tomorrow I'll get back to work. And I really pushed it hard this morning and um, I thought, I don't think I've done enough. Little did I know that once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come and do another workout. Here we are. Hi guys. Hi. I'm stuck. Are you stuck? Yes. Oh, I'm, not. I'm trying to empty the water so that I can put stuff in there. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. I've been here a few times, but today just went and just didn't move anything. Oh, <laughs> Say it again? Oh. Yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I've called a friend of mine, he's on his way coming okay. to give me a hand. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the time I just said, maybe I can try to give it a go. Yeah. All right, have a good time, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's a workout for me. Oh, that's, okay. that's a nice place to come and give and, uh, come for a walk. People come here and uh, go for walks, like those two ladies on that side, and uh. So the water is going down, we are having a, oh yes, you can see, see some progress over here, so, um, and this is, if this is your first time actually joining my channel, you know that Julian doesn't give up until it's the last drop, 
so this is what we're gonna do so i didn't want those guys ladies to feel sorry for me so i just told them look there's someone coming but actually you guys know there's no one who's actually coming to give me a hand because I, f I saw them they were like really like wanting to you know give me a hand but i don't want to bother people having the exercise and bushwalks and stuff like that or if somebody passes around with a four-wheel drive yeah of course but there's two beautiful ladies i don't want to bother them and i told them actually this is like a workout for me and uh, actually the water is going down so let's keep pushing So I've emptied some, a little bit of good amount of water, but then I've just noticed there's something looks like it's stuck down. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you see there, that thing over there, the one that holds the wheels, looks like it's actually grabbing the ground. So I don't know if it's a good thing, I don't know if it's a bad thing. So I have to try my best and get this car out of here. So the only thing I think I can do it now is just reversing it. That's the best way to do it, to reverse it. I'll give it a try and see. But before I do that, I need to put some stones behind here and see if it can actually grab on the stones when I reverse it. I think I'll give that one a try now and see and uh, wish me luck so let's give it a try in the meantime i'm hoping someone can maybe pass by and uh, with the four-wheel drive and pull me out otherwise i would have to leave this car here and go home Still no luck. <sighs> One wheel is turning, the rest are not turning, which is really weird. I don't know why. That's really, and the car is really heavy, and the thing looks like it's on a sort of this sort of angle, so it's a it's a pain. I'm just thinking of what I can do to get it out. Maybe I can still keep going to empty the water, but then it doesn't make, doesn't make any sense because the tire is not <coughs> touching down. This is weird. I don't want to dig too deep. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I think this is it. This is it, guys. I don't know. I have no idea what to do now. I think what I just did was absolutely a waste of time if you know what i mean what i did seems like to be a waste of time i don't know yeah i don't know that's enough julian you've said a lot of i don't knows what will you do let me know in the comments below what will you do uh let me know in the comments below 
I've got enough food for me in there. I've actually got an idea. What I'll do, I'll try to go put the car on reverse um, and then come, come out of the car and try to see if I can give it a push. Give it a push from the front and see if it's gonna go. That's my idea number one. Let's give it a try. I hope it works. That idea is not working. That idea is not working at all. Wow, it's almost too. Anybody home? <laughs> People should come and drive here. Where are they? The four wheel drivers. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I need your help now. Mm, this is amazing. Let me give my camera a break a little bit and have a few thoughts. I'm already trying to think of uh, the topic for this um, uh, video. <laughs> Maybe I should give it a fool in the jungle. A fool in the jungle. Hmm, that sounds like a good name. A fool in the jungle. I've actually have a thought. So I'm 101 kilos and and the reason why the car is spinning is because it's not getting enough grip to hold the ground. So I'm thinking if I put my weight where I'm sitting right now, over here, and I put it on reverse, hopefully it's gonna have enough grip on the ground to come that way. Hoping it doesn't hit you guys. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do it, Julian. Okay, now you and I have, can see that that idea doesn't work and probably it will work if somebody is actually giving it some gas because there was a time the wheel was actually like grabbing the ground but then there's no one to give it some gas which brings me to the next idea. What I'll do, <laughs> this is where you have to multi-think. Imagine if you were me, what will you do? Maybe I'll put a little stone on the, on the gas and then put on the reverse and then jump on it and see how it goes. Let's give, let's give that a try. So I put um, some uh, rug or clothes and I could actually hear it. So uh, yeah, this, this side is actually grabbing, grabbing it. I just need to try my best to keep pushing it. I don't want to push it too hard because it's actually going to dig down. And that means that it can't move because there's something actually holding over there. So I might need to put some clothes or whatever and see if it can actually grab some. So like,
We're still here. We're still struggling. We're still trying. So I'm gonna do something. I've got this rug over here. Sorry, I know some Kenyans will feel bad about this. So this I've got this kitenge over here, which I think I'll put a stone inside. And uh, I'll wrap a stone inside and try to put it underneath there. And see if, if it can actually grab it. If it goes underneath. If that goes underneath, I hope it can move a bit. Just, just, it's just a hope. We're hoping. Hoping is the way to go. There's actually some movement, which is really strange. There was some movement. I was impressed with that. Try it again. Maybe I should keep it. No, not forward. No, backward is the only way. Yeah, if I keep doing that, I think I'll be digging more. Oh, my camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's what we people, that's what we go through making this sort of videos. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> this is what content creators go through, guys. I don't know. Yeah, I think I've called a few friends to see if I can give, they can give me a hand. Uh, one of them has a four wheel drive. That one did not work. I tried another one. It didn't work. So I'm just hoping for the best right now. Really? And uh, we'll keep waiting because my GoPro battery is also dying as well. The GoPro batteries uh, can be a pain as well. I've got two, but this one is dying. So so this is the situation we are in, guys. It's been almost an hour now and still going. I've tried my best. But, like the front is not that bad. It's just the back, you know. And I, it's, it's a boy has disappointed me today because usually he drives on four wheel drive. But for some reason today, he's not, nothing is moving at the front. So. I've tried everything, 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 and uh, yeah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. So help number two, let's see if I can get this guy who has a sort of a four wheel drive to come and give me a hand, I hope he, I hope. This is help number two. I hope it works. Otherwise, I've, uh, I'm done. Julian, my. 
Ajak. How you doing, bro? Oh, bro, you don't want to know. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you don't want to know, man. Well, <laughs> you called me, so I have to know that, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so you know Latrobe? Yeah. At the back, there's that forest. Yeah. Yeah, I went there. I usually come there to do videos and stuff. Yeah. And then I went through a small ditch, just at, just from the road, and my car stuck. Oh shit! <laughs> I've tried everything, man, for the last hour, one hour. Jesus Christ! I've called one guy who has a four-wheel drive, but he's like, "Oh no, mine is broken. It's not working anymore." I have a four-wheel drive, but I don't have any um, anything to pull you out with. We can get a. We can buy a rope. Yeah. We can buy a rope. Well, okay. From yeah, from uh, from um, from uh, you know like Apco or whatever or just any yeah. rope and then we can just put it and then we can keep. I thought your car has that pulling stuff. Yeah, it does, but I don't. I don't, I don't have the winch. No, I don't have a winch. Ah, oh, we just need yeah, to. Oh, okay. Because I can just put it on the toll bar. We can put it on yeah, the toll bar we, and pull it back. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you working today? I just, I just finished work now. Oh, bro, <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry to bother you. Are you about? No, if, no, all good. I, I just finished work now, so I'll probably I'll make my way down there. Yeah, just you can if you can buy. Let me check. Yeah. Let me check in my car if I've got any rope. Okay, no worries. So that's a uh, sort of uh, a luck for me because that guy is a friend of mine. His name is a Jack. And um, he has a, a sort of a big, uh, but he doesn't have a rope. Julian, 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 what can I do with you? Um, so I'll have to wait for Jack to come and uh, give me a hand. In the meantime, I can uh, continue having something to finish eating or rest. And uh, it is what it is. Stay tuned. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We Finally, I see a car coming after I don't know how long. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody is gonna come and uh, hopefully give me a hand. I don't know. Good day. Luck? No luck, man. Huh? No luck. I've tried my best. <laughs> you poked, are you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've been here a few times, but today I just was, I was just coming and just stuck. I don't, I don't have a rope on me. You have a rope? No, I don't have a rope. I have a few ropes in here, but I don't think they're gonna work anyway. Yeah, I'm. Uh, nah. No, they can't, can they? They can't do much, can they? No worries. Hopefully this guy's gonna give me a hand. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, I just got some ropes over here and I'm hoping they can actually help out a little bit. This guy over here has decided to give me a hand. So maybe if I can put them together and that guy at the back there can give me a hand. I'm not sure but I'll give it a try and see. If uh let me call a jack. So guys this guy has come here and he's giving me a hand. There's another one also coming to give me a hand too so <laughs> I don't think this I hope this is gonna work. So let's hope for the best. But um yeah Australians are really nice, they give you a hand and help you out. So wish me luck.
But yeah, but uh, I've been here for like two hours. Oh shit! <laughs> Someone is trying to give me a There's a friend of mine who's I just sent him to his rock something and fix it. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. But uh, thank you so much. That's okay. Huh? We appreciate it. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. glad it was. A, it was. I'm glad it was. A, oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll get this, I'll just come out and buy it. It's in my life. I'll get it on the five Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, I can't. No worries, man. All right. Thank you so much. I'll be good. I'll be good. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably going up that way. Yeah. No worries. Thank you for the tree. Yeah. Yeah, so it did it it didn't work. This rope is just yeah, this rope is yeah, it couldn't work. So um, I'm waiting for a Jack. He's one of my friends to come and give me a hand. Maybe I should just switch this car off. Uh, that's the only option op op that I have. Thank you. So that's the only hope I have. Thank you very much. That's the only hope I have. It was really nice, nice guy. Who decided to give me a hand. But uh, yeah, we couldn't do much. Yeah. So anyway, it is what it is. Let's wait. By the way, when Sean came here, Sean, <laughs> The guy who was helping me out, he was actually, he decided to go that way and re- reverse the car. But then, and he's up there, he's doing, he's cutting some firewood. He accidentally hit that tree over there. And the good thing, his car did not get much damage. But I, I really felt sad because I'm the one who actually made him. He was actually helping me out. Um, so that's Sean over there. If you can see him, the car over there. It's looking for firewood. Um, yeah, his car hit um, the tree, and uh, I mean there was not. It wasn't a big damage, but <laughs> for some reason I feel like I own it, you know. And I'm glad it did not get a bad, a big damage. So, yeah, I better get off uh, to the road and wait for my friend to come and pick me up, and then come here and see so how we go. So this is not what I wanted. I can hear some rain. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not good at all, at all. Not good at all. I can hear some rain from a distance. I can smell rain. It's already raining on me now. And I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. And no one is around here. This is nature by its calling. Well, I've just stayed in the house, watch a movie or something. Come on, Julian. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Lord. 
for the sun. <laughs> but for how long? Clouds are dark. The side. While we wait for a jack to come, I'll give you a story about the the, um, the gum trees in Australia, right? Behind me, that's the gum tree. From a distance, you can see all those gum trees over here, okay? These trees, they are protected trees, of course. Australian protected trees. And Australia is one of the largest, one of the lar largest countries of importation of timber. So these trees, as you can see, as we wait for a jack, this is just something to give you a story about these trees, all right? You might feel like it's, as you can see from the ground, look like it's um, alive and healthy. But actually, sometimes they might look like that, but they're actually dead. So if you park your car next to it the next morning, you might find that tree just falling down. So they can look like it's alive and kicking. And I can see some marks on it. I don't know what that means. Maybe I don't know what it means. But it, so these are the trees that are selling in Australia. Man, these trees, they burn like... So during summer season, when um, it's hot here, Sometimes it can get to 40, 40 something. There's bushfires in Australia. And these are the trees that actually um, make bushfires here. And when they start burning, they don't stop. And this is like nature fighting. Like I, I remember two years ago, before, or before the times of COVID, there was the worst bushfires in Australia, the worst. Um, they really burned a lot of, you know, forests were really burnt and um, because these trees are actually native to Australia they've been here for I guess I could be wrong maybe more than 2,000 years could be wrong but um, as you can see behind me and everywhere they're all gum trees so that's just something I thought to give you guys a story about these gum trees we have them back home as well but um, not as common as Australia so the whole of this you can actually and Another thing you need to know about these trees, they're actually accounted for. So you can't just come here and cut them. If you cut them, you're going to get fined. So, yeah, so just letting you know. I just thought to share with you that in the meantime, as I wait for a jack to come. Okay, so I hope you guys will learn something, one or two. But, yeah, it's actually, that's what happens over here. So I'm just going to wait and see. Yeah, so... Peace be upon you, and as you continue watching the video, keep stay tuned and uh, enjoy more. See you, Sean. You got someone coming? Yeah, someone is coming to, to pick me up. Oh, right. Yeah, to pull me out, to pull me out. So I'm just waiting for him here no because he doesn't know exactly where this place is. But thank you so much, I appreciate it. No Drive safe. Uh -huh. It's here. Yeah, so um, that's the guy who came and gave me a hand. Really good guy. And uh, that's how Australians are. Australians are very good people, very, very friendly. Um, yeah, just like anywhere else in the world, there's good and bad people, so it just depends with the, the person you, you're talking to or whatever. So, I used to come here and um, as you can see, there's cars going down that side, but not so many. Because it's a weekday. If it was a weekend today, or if it was summer today, you'll see a lot of people going in there, whatever, and doing camping and stuff. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for more uh, while we wait for Jack. This was just part of the story. I was waiting for this guy to come, so stay tuned. Here comes my helper, one of the few millionaires we have around. <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> what? One of the few millionaires we have in Australia. <laughs> one of the few millionaires. <laughs> ah, yeah, look at this guy. Ah, you're coming. Ah. He's coming to help. Every time they stick my ears, it feels so easy. So, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ajak, you got a dog? Yeah. When? Probably about a month ago. Straight, oh, straight down? Yes, yeah, straight down. So what's, what's her name? His, his name. His name. What's his Boy, name? Kakuma. Kakuma. Oh, Kakuma. You yeah. know Kakuma is very... You know, that's where I grew up, yeah. Bro, this guy grew up in Kakuma. <laughs> this is for oh, my, you call? This for my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. You know I've got a YouTube channel? I was, no, when yeah. I got there, I started recording. Oh. Because I was I was usually come here to make videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I said, let me come and... Uh, there's a guy who actually came and helped me out. Yeah. But then the, I had a funny rope. It snapped. Oh, Jesus. I yeah. don't have a rope, so... Yeah. So did you get a rope? No, I wanted to see first what they oh, said. <laughs> you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. <laughs> Takuma! Now get on my laptop, boy, I'll kick your ass. Oh, oh, oh is that your car there? Yeah. It's a four-wheel drive, yeah? It is, but it's not one oh, that's four. Oh, Jesus, you're bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> that is deep. Bad. Yeah. I've passed it a few times. Holy but today shit. I was actually trying to move on the side, but it just got stuck. And I couldn't do nothing. So it doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't. From the if you just pull it, you just need to be pulled from the back. That's it. Oh the front. The front, front no, forward. No, 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 no forward. Because the, the thing is stuck. The, the, the oh, it's just, easy yeah, day. Yeah. So the, from the back it's easier. You know it's too I mean? low, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did they get a lift kit? <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is tall, man. Yeah. I'm. F I'm here. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's it's the middle of the palace. Yeah. yeah. So if you go, if you pull it from the back, it should be easy. Snap, eh? Yeah, it did snap. There's a guy who came here to give me a hand, but then it just snapped like that. No, we had two, we had two, like two together. You need to get a proper pull, a pull pulling thing. thing. Uh, we'll go down. We'll go to I can leave it here, it's okay? Or they will uh, call the well, police. Who, who will steal it? <laughs> yeah, who will steal this car? So you, so you, you, you don't have any ratchets, right? Nothing, nothing. Man. Nothing. Okay, so that was snap too. Yeah, that was snap. Hey, this guy, man. This guy will eat like a. Hey, hey, look at the camera. Look at the camera over there. Here, not here. There. Barangi. Ah. This way, Nani. Kakuma. Kakuma. You know, Kakuma. It's a very famous place for refugees and stuff in Kenya. Yeah, eh? that's where I was. But then if you say, if you remove the KA and leave the KA. And Uma, they, Uma. Oh, they say, hey, it's up on the screen, man. Uh, Uma, Taco. No, no, don't say that, don't say uh, that. Not too much. Yeah, anyway. That's Kakuma over here. Mm. Very beautiful dog. Yeah, awesome. So we are here, guys, with this man over here. And we got this we guy over here. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. With a joke, my joke. That's his engine. That's what, a bulldog. What is it? A Tem 1000? <laughs> what? A Tem 1000? A Tem 1000. You're gonna Tem this 1000? Yeah, yeah. Look at that car, man. This, I told you this guy is the millionaire of Australia. One of the few millionaires we have here. <laughs> so getting this, this done with a millionaire is a privilege. I'm a thousand, eh? <laughs> Oh, my car has been here the whole day, man. All right.
moving now. So finally, finally we're out. Oh, man. And then there. Oh, because I was driving on top of this. Yeah. And that's the place. Oi, oi, oi. You won't run it away. Oh, my God. Sakes, look at that, man. We did it. Come we on. did it. Yeah. Man, that, car, that car is strong, man. Yeah. No, I'm not like joking. I'm, drive, I'm not joking. Like that car, like that yeah. car tried it. Yeah. It wasn't doing that. There that was, was nothing. Easy, yeah. It was just <laughs> shit. I could just like, I was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. 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 Get out of that. Hey. Dirty water. Man, that rope. Yeah. That rope yeah. is also very solid, man. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was on two-wheel drive and the wheels were spinning, so I took it on the third time. I will never, never, <laughs> never come here again. Yeah. Next time I come here, you probably get that. <laughs> Just like, yeah, yeah. You know when you were like, oh, nice. And they're like, they want to go. And now they came to the building. Yeah. Who told you to get out of the car? Huh? Who told you to get out of the car? Who told you to get out of the car? Oh. Go back inside, mate. Go. I don't know what to tell you, man. Thank you. No worries, bro. Thank you, 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 bro. Right, guys we are done we are good to go so my boy was stuck there as you guys can see <laughs> and uh, it comes with the price so I ended up spending $69 for this with a good friend otherwise I could have spent a lot of money to grab someone to come and help me out over here so and um, as you can see I'm very dirty I'll try I'll try my car now and see Oh yes, boy is driving Boy is driving Boy is driving again That's where boy was 
we'll make sure we don't go there anymore so just gonna reverse carefully over here last time i reversed here i hit a tree so nah. and i need to post this music before i get copyright yeah i will open it yeah thanks man see ya so ajak god bless him and ajak if you see this video man thank you so much you are a friend in kind and you always be in my mind until the end of the kindness <laughs> but anyway ajak has been really friendly helpful so we went and looked for this stuff got it came back here and uh, i've got a strap now that i can use now to pull my car that was uh, the whole day hey. being here i came here around 12 12 40 i think now it's 4 pm i'm done boy is really really happy to go back home <laughs> hopefully i'll give him a wash not today not tomorrow three days from now i love boy it's my car if you haven't watched any videos about me fixing this guy watch my videos we're gonna be doing more videos and more videos so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't hesitate to click that subscription button like comment share tell me what you think if it was you what will you do in the middle of nowhere and if you don't have friends now you know it's good to have friends at least even one or two that you trust and they can come and give you a hand otherwise without much further ado i will leave it at this point and say it was the best experience ever being in australia stuck in the middle of nowhere alone thank goodness we did it i leave you keep smiling be safe stay safe remember always have your phone charged when you go to this kind of places peace out